Thanks to their big tech, China has more power and influence in Washington than Americans do. And when I say Americans, I mean the we the poors and my definition of we the poors. Now, this is there's more to it than this, but this is overwhelmingly true for almost everyone. If you stop working today and you can no longer make a living, you can no longer survive, then you're one of the poors. You, you may think that you're not, but if you stop working today and you can no longer pay for your pay your bills, you're one of the poors. You're dependent, and that's 99% of us. Although, unfortunately, amongst the 99%, there's probably 30, 40% maybe that, that think that they're, they're, not, they're not one of the poors. And so they, they regularly support policies that fundamentally undermine their own power. They don't understand that. And maybe in part they do that because they imagine one day they will have their chance at being the thug that they support. This is an editor's pick, uh, well, an editor's choice report. Thanks to giant loophole, the Chinese Communist Party is free to lobby U.S. lawmakers. And this is from freebeacon.com. I'm calling this video, though, Chinese big tech lobbyists control D.C., not American voters. I'm going to put a question mark there just, just for the YouTube algorithm. So I'm going to put the question mark. And, and, and like I said, there are, there are, there are corpo state nationalists that have more power than China does, so not all Americans. If you want to call them Americans, I don't think we should call them Americans anymore because they they don't believe in King Bill. They don't submit to King Bill. If you don't submit to King Bill, the Bill of Rights, then you're, in, in, my, in, my, in my estimation, you're not part of the American nation, the nation in the ethno sense, not the nation state sense. Uh, so whatever they are, they have more power than the Chinese corpus, cor well, well, China is what? Well, China is uh, a fascistic. They're still a nation state. They're not a corpo state. They're a nation state. But at any rate, uh, Chinese tech companies facing federal indictment and sanctions are exploiting a legal loophole to hide their army of Capitol Hill, Capitol Hill lobbyists from public scrutiny. Chinese tech giants such as Huawei. I just said Huawei for fun. And TikTok have spent millions of dollars hiring lobbyists to push their agenda in Congress in the last 10 years. But the companies, all of which are either owned or closely linked to the Chinese government, have avoided registering the vast majority of their lobbyists as foreign agents through a loophole. Lobbyists for foreign entities must register under the Foreign Agents Registration Act. By the way, no foreign agency should be allowed to lobby American politicians, nor should any government allow any foreigners to lobby their government officials. And none, none of them. If you want to actually preserve your nation state, don't open it up to, to your enemies because all nation states are, are enemies. Well, they're, yeah, they're, they're enemies. The United States and Britain are enemies. Well, not, not in the strictest sense of the term, but all nation states are enemies in the sense that any opportunity they have to take political power advantage, military, whatever advantage over the others, they will do it. Trade advantage. The only time that nation states act in allegiance with one another is uh, when they perceive that uh, doing so will will enhance both of their positions. But that's always conditional. It's never set in stone. So in a, all nation states are competing with one another. So no nation state should allow foreign lobbyists to to. <laughs> to actually influence their government. Nor should any nation state really allow any foreign government, the United States included, to have control over fundamental means of communication, such as social media. So China having TikTok in America is untenable. It's, it's, it's an abomination. If you want to be on the quote-unquote right side of history, you should not support that. Uh, and this is, this is the American quote-unquote left the so-called anti-fascist that are supporting corporate fascists from China, controlling American lives, manipulating children and getting the data of our children through TikTok. And Lord knows what they're doing with that, how they're feeding that data into their little AI algorithms and their deep learning algorithms so they can influence American culture to further demoralize itself and become feckless in opposing the rising power of China. Not that I think that China could sustain that, but that is their hope and dream. Lobbyists for foreign entities must register under the Foreign Agents Registration Act and disclose detailed information about their influence peddling operations. Hawaii, 
I'm just going to say Hawaii why I like it better. Hawaii why? A telecommunications company facing multiple indictments has spent more than $8 million to hire more than 20 lobbyists to work the Hill in the last decade. None of these lobbyists have registered as foreign agents connected to Hawaii. TikTok's parent, ByteDance, has also never filed for a disclosure concerning its multi-million dollar attempt to influence the federal government. And we get some some stuff that's that's kind of related to this. You have Virginia Dems social and this well, there this is an editor's choice report, so it's not strictly related, but it's it's kind of related to the whole vibe that's going on here. Virginia Dems social justice math curriculum reinvigorating GOP gov hopefuls, and I, you know, I don't know if it, at some point there will be a a viable. Bill of Rights Party, but I wish that there would rise a Bill of Rights Party because the GOP, to me, it's so discredited as an actual champion of the Bill of Rights in any kind of consistent sense. And that's what I clamor for. I clamor for a return to King Bill, to the Bill of Rights. And so so this doesn't really fill me with hope. And I and I highly doubt that a GOP win will, will be anything but uh, token resistance continually. So unless and until an actual viable Bill of Rights party, and Libertarian Party is not a Bill of Rights party. I don't mean the Libertarians. Until there's an actual viable Bill of Rights party formed, our ability to affect government, quote-unquote, reform that, 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 that purges the land of this uh, Wokatarian garbage without denizening the, well, I'll say the good parts of it, because, you know, like the, the plea of the needy, uh, they appeal to a legitimate plea, and a lot of times, what you'll have happen in response to uh, ending this type of tyranny is you go back too far, and you and you actually then you also then ignore the plea of the needy. So this is my my concern with this headline. Uh, but anyway, be that as it may, Barnard College instructor discusses blowing up and gassing whites in coming race war. That's from the College Fix. Yeah, I'll just float that out there. That's 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 what that's that's what happens when you have a revengetarian uh, ideology that has angels and demons, and you're the angel, and everybody else is demons. Forty, th- and that 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 college instructor still has their job. Forty-three major company. Meanwhile, some, that woman that we spoke about earlier that dared to say that that men were men and women were women, she lost her job. But the corpo state media, the corpo well, the corpo state nationalists, they support this person. Because they know that this person, if, if this is to happen, it won't be the billionaire whites that get gassed. that will be we the poor. It's not that I think that that will happen. But, uh, yeah, the, the, the corporate state uh, nationalists don't have to worry about that type of ideology touching them behind their gated communities. 43 major companies signed statement opposing Texas bills protecting girls' sports, banning transgenderism, treatments on minors from ChristianHeadlines.com. China expands naval dominance to Africa and Indian Ocean with new aircraft carrier base. Just just something to keep uh, keep watch on there if uh, if the United States military is or Navy is fundamentally challenged, if anybody gets on par with the United States military Navy. Uh, well, the United States Navy, well, then U- U.S. world power is over. China expands naval dominance in Africa and in the ocean. Well, I already read that. New docs did FBI investigate Seth Rich case despite earlier denials from Sputnik.news. I don't know the truth of this one. I just threw this in there, just something to consider. And here's something that I might end up doing uh, a, 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 a regular report on, and that is uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, pressed by lawmakers on algorithms. That's from Bloomberg.com. 